The old saying goes, there is no I in team. We have proof of that in tonight's act of kindness. Local teacher Harvey Lewis, who won this year's bad water race, has a shout out for his crew because their volunteer work helped him get to the finish line. It was essential to have a, a strong team. And what did they do for you as you were running this? They are my lifeline. Uh, all on the journey, uh, every mile or two, they would pull up and have to run across the road safely, of course, and hand off a drink, hand off ice, hand off some uh, food, uh, gear, gear, and all the, the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at a picture of what he just described. That's Harvey and some of his team members who offer up plenty of positive energy and encouragement along the way, along with everything else on the 135 mile trek over unforgiving terrain. You can see the brutal temperature in this picture, and that doesn't even account for Badwater's steep mountainous climbs. It took 45 year old Harvey 25 hours, 50 minutes and 23 seconds to complete the journey last month and the members of his volunteer support staff who've stuck with him over the years were with him every step of the way. So here's to from left to right. Alex Bruns, Judd Poindexter, Max Gavazzi and Matt Garrett. Crew Chief Poindexter tells me there's a lesson for everyone in Harvey's bad water success. I truly believe that if you put in the time and effort and training and preparation, yeah. you, you can do anything you set your mind to do. I mean, I've seen him in some rough situations and he's still just so, so positive. Emotionally, I think at the finish of these races, I may be more emotional than him. His support is kind, and here's another kind thing. As part of the Badwater effort, Harvey and company sold these road ID bands to raise money for scholarships at the School for Performing Arts, where he teaches AP government and financial literacy. Way to go, and stand by for Harvey and crew's next adventure. It's coming soon.